All right, guys, welcome to Custom NHL Builds. This is the series where I make EASHL player builds based off of actual NHL players. This time I'm going to be doing another Swedish player. It's going to be the defenseman of the Arizona Coyotes, Oliver Ekman Larsson. So I play a lot of defense in EASHL, and I've been wanting to tinker around with an offensive defenseman build that has some size. So when I think of offensive defenseman, OEL is one of the first guys I think of. He's a guy who had back-to-back 20-goal -back seasons. He routinely hits around 15 goals. He skates well. He can quarterback the power play, and he's got a lethal shot. Uh, the great thing, too, is he's six foot two and 200 pounds, so I'm hoping that with his frame I can create an offensive defenseman with good reach who can also throw the body around a little bit. So OEL is a left-handed shooter. Like I said, he's six foot two, 200 pounds. For the primary trait, I gave him quick wrist or two. He scores a lot of goals, and watching his goals, I noticed that actually the majority of them are wrist shots. Uh, this is in part because of his willingness to step up and join the play on offense and sneak into the slot, but also just because he has a nasty wrist shot. His slap shot's also pretty good, but I wasn't able to boost the wrist shot without taking points away from the slapper. That's just how the system works. Um, I then went ahead with tight turns one for the secondary to give him more agility. Like I said, he's a really smooth skater, and I wanted to give him good agility to reflect that while still keeping his speed and acceleration intact. For the specialty, I went with power play quarterback. So this is a specialty that I've never actually used, um, but building Oliver ekman Larson seemed like the perfect occasion to test it out. He's been consistently productive on the power play, and actually about 40% of his career points have come well on the power play. When I took this build online, I was afraid he would feel a little sluggish um, being 6'2", but I was actually surprised at how smooth he skates. He can keep up with smaller speedy forwards really well, and he can use his speed to create offense. I normally play with a, a puck moving defenseman that's a little smaller than this build. He's about 6 foot 200 pounds, but this honestly barely felt any slower. A plus too is the reach. So not only is he able to use his reach to make good poke checks, but he's a loose puck vacuum. Uh, any loose puck in his vicinity seems to magnetize right to his tape. And another plus with his size is the physicality. He can use his body to protect the net. He can attack his corners well, um, which is something you would normally not be able to do with a smaller offensive defenseman. His offensive skills are also pretty strong. The shot, while not game-breaking, seems to get on net with regularity, although it doesn't seem to beat the goaltender as often as I was hoping. It could be worse, but it's far from game-breaking. He's also a respectable dangler. Most of the time you should just be able to use your speed and agility alone to avoid checks and make plays, but in those situations where you need a quick deke or you just want to show off, he can accommodate. So overall, I was surprised with this build. Um, in a couple ways. So not only is it the most well-rounded offensive defenseman build I've played with, it's simultaneously better at defense than I was expecting and worse at offense than I was expecting. So he can pretty much do everything you need him to, need him to do in the defensive zone. I, I tested this build out against some very competitive opponents and I was a little worried that experimenting with a build against such a good team uh, would be a disaster but he was great at keeping up with, uh, with these guys on the rush and bullying them down low when they tried to cycle. On offense, I can't really say I noticed much difference when using the power play quarterback specialty. And what's worse is sometimes you play games where you don't even get a power play, so you're basically just wasting your specialty slot. What's worse, too, is in 3v3, um, you're not, there aren't even power plays, so... Um, for situations like that, I switched to Quick Wrister, and even with that on, I didn't feel like the shot was really game-breaking. Um, so he's still able to skate well and join the play on offense. Um, he just kind of lacks that deadly finish with the shot, at least against AI goaltenders. I was able to score fine against human goalies, um, and like I said, you don't miss the net much. So his offensive skill shouldn't be completely written off, it's just not quite what I expected. Overall, this is a build I would definitely play with. Um, I personally prefer to have a big slap shot on defense, that way you can rip those big one-timers. But other than that, it's a really well-rounded defense build. So anyway guys, that's my OEL build. 
I hope you like this video. If there's a player in the NHL that you'd like me to build, please leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll try to get to work on them. I already know what my next few will be since um, I've already gotten to work on some of your guys' requests, so just bear with me. These videos take a lot of time to work, uh, a lot of time and work to make, but I also like making them, so just hang in there and uh, I'll try to get to these. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.